Welcome everyone to Houston News. Today is June 20th, 2019. Give me all the news according to the charts because we don't pay attention to any of the articles, any of the videos, or any of the content in any other space because the truth always resembles itself on the price chart and that's it. That's what we've been showing you all since we came to YouTube is to give you the simplistic form of the expectation of what the market is going to do before it actually does it. So now, as you guys can probably tell by the thumbnail, uh, there is an article that came out talking about Cardano is going to moon about 100% to the upside once that Shelly testnet comes out. Okay, we're going to talk about that on the article and see if the price chart is actually showing us the same depiction regarding the sentiment of that news. Before I get started, I always want to make sure that you check us out at our website, qfinancial.com. Uh, become a member, sign up for one of our packages because you'll definitely be aware of the changes that we see occur in the cryptocurrency space before anybody else. And we're going to give you that example for today in Cardano. Make sure you all continue to go ahead and like, share, and subscribe to this channel because we're giving you something different, something very unique, unique regarding the aspect of price analysis. Okay. So the last time we did our video for Cardano was on June 17th. OK, and we told you all that the market uh, was getting inundated with stockpile hovering around that nine and a half cent price. And we're going to talk about that once we switch over to the price chart. But currently we're going to look at this article right here. OK, the title of it reads 100 percent Cardano price spike awaits after test net release predicts an analyst now I'm going to show you this uh, just because somebody has a chart on their Twitter feed does not mean that they are an analyst okay so scrolling down a little bit further somebody that goes by the Twitter account name Beastly Orion believes that Cardano is gearing up for a face melting pump in the next few weeks the client comes after the much anticipated release of the crypto token Shelly testnet the analyst which be careful of using that word it it loses its strength because people place it on their title and wants to be called that when in fact what makes one an analyst nevertheless this individual expects to see Cardano make a hundred and seventeen almost hundred eighteen percent move to the upside over the next month and here he is right here him or she right here with the Twitter handle beastly Orion been a while since we saw a nice pump on Cardano I hear the first release of their test net is tomorrow everything is lining up for a nice two times pump over the next month and that was posted on Twitter on June 15, 2019. You all can tell that here we are June 20th, five days since that post came out. And we haven't seen a pump yet. Based on his chart, you all can see that he's expecting the market to at least hit that 20 cent price within the next month. Within the next 26 days. Before this happens, the currency must take out the resistance area of nine and a half cents and we've been telling you that since we've been covering Cardano in the market as well so Cardano looks bullish in both the shorter and longer time frames we might well cross out that word shorter because today the market is down longer time frame is still up for debate a closer inspection of the cryptocurrency reveals a massive inverse head and shoulders pattern for those technical analysts out there which we do not follow we don't believe technical analysis neither a inverse head and shoulder is literally where the head is at the bottom and you got your left and your right shoulder at the top that's it they try to utilize that as a bullish pattern meaning that the currency can continue to move higher but understand that the cryptocurrency space the financial markets don't believe in patterns as a matter of fact, the market participants tries to break those patterns because everyone follows those same patterns. You can't do the same thing that the market is doing. You got to do it totally different. OK. So Cardano. After it launched its test nano Shelly. It's going to enter, according to this article, a parabolic run. 
especially once it breaks above that nine and a half nine and a half cent price. Cardano has virtually no resistance above nine and a half cents on the longer time frame other than the analyst price target around 20 cents. Okay, so there's nothing in the market in Cardano once it breaks this nine and a half cent price to allow it to continue to move to the upside. All right. The projection that Cardano will ignite a massive rally after the breakout and more than double its value in less than 30 days isn't beyond the realm of possibility. The confluence of events such as a long accumulation period talking about right here on this chart. Formation of a reliable reversal pattern. Cross out that word reliable because it is not reliable. Patterns are made to be broken. And the lack of resistance above the neckline, talking about that nine and a half cent price that's acting as resistance, favors the bulls as well as the analyst prediction. Again, he's not an analyst. He's just an individual who is placing his ideas on Twitter. All right. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to look at our prediction as to what we expect the market to do in Cardano. And if it's still in the realm of possibility for this coin to continue to move higher in price. Now, you can see from his or her Twitter feed that they expected the market to break out from Testnet, which was supposed to occur on the 16th of June, according to his post. Here we are, June 20th, and the market is not breaking above that nine and a half cent price. That's why we did an update on Cardano on the 17th of June. Because we saw that the market was finding a huge hindrance at that nine and a half cent price. We did, in fact, keep our price target on going in the market for Cardano. And we're still going to do that only under one condition. And that condition is this coin is still trading above our ascending line. OK, now, Grant, I'm telling you now that Cardano is not that strong. All those days that we had since the 12th of June all the way to today's current day has been signs indications of more sellers into the market the only thing that is keeping this coin into the realm of possibility of moving to the upside and breaking nine and a half cent price is our line that we got drawn on our chart today the volume definitely is coming in for Cardano we're closing below the close from the last week or so in trading that's not a positive thing to see neither but again, everyone is looking at the same price chart. Don't get that confused. So we're going to move to a smaller time frame right now. Cardano uh, three hour chart. You can still tell that we knew that the market was weak and we are finally seeing the movement to the downside occur in this currency and the weakness is currently still ongoing. OK, so uh, definitely the market in Cardano is still building up that cause in order to break this nine and a half cent price. Now, just because we're going to keep our price target here in the market in Cardano, we're still looking for it to give us some more consolidational trading between nine and a half cents all the way, possibly back down to eight cents. Now, that's going to be a very dramatic movement to the downside at eight cents. But literally where we are now on that last three hour bar at eight and a half cents is a very good support area. OK, so. We're still are on par for Cardano to continue to move higher at this point. But the near term movement in Cardano, it's weakness. OK, until we see some more indications of strength coming to the market in Cardano, this market is going to hold consolidational trading and even maybe might even move to the downside. OK, we have not seen a change in tone occur in the market in Cardano. Uh, the near term movement from our perspective of what the price chart is telling us is consolidational trading at best. OK, we will continue to be on the lookout for Cardano to see strength entering the market, because once it does, then we will resume back up to higher prices. All right. And that is literally what's trying to go on at that eight and a half cent price. The market is trying to find some strength at the eight and a half cent price, which is one reason why are we going to keep this long term price target objective on our chart? You just got to understand that the market right now is going through weakness.
definitely eight and a half cents needs to be maintained at the area support and for that reason we're going to keep our price target going on into the market in Cardano even though we can still see some minor movement here above our ascending line so there you go marketing Cardano is weak right now but in the long term we're still expecting it to give us another pop movement to the upside especially as long as we stay above this ascending line in the market that is what you need to be on the lookout for give us your thoughts give us your opinion make sure you check us out at our website hufinancer.com because we're the only place to give you this very precise accurate and reliable information regarding cryptocurrencies without causing you any confusion everyone else is confusing you and they're giving you hypotheticals we're giving you a biased directional move as to what we expect these coins to do make sure you all maintain your profitability and i will see you all later